hello student so today we are going to learn our fourth chapter the chapter name is windows 7 the system manager so this is our part first so in our previous chapter we discussed the roles of operating system software in our computer as the device manager memory manager and file manager etc so the windows 7 begin one of the most user friendly operating system that offer the efficient information management services such that it can be quickly retrieved when it's needed so now we will learn the uses of these services in this chapter so the windows begin one of the most commonly used operating system that provide the graphical user interface means GUI to interact with the computer system and its graphical components and the menu based operation helps to use its facility with an easy way. So before we move further let us discuss about the major components of Windows 7. So let's start. So the desktop. So these are the main components desktop icons start button and taskbar so the desktop the first screen which appear when the windows operating system is loaded in the memory it's called as desktop then a small pictures of various program files folders or the shortcut can be seen on the desktop in the form of icons okay next is taskbar at the bottom which helps to manage the open window next is a start button this start button is present on the left side of the taskbar and it's also known as a gateway of windows application so let's start the start button so when start button is clicked a menu with the various option appear on the screen called as start button okay so these options are available in a start menu first all program then search box right panel left panel and the personal folder so look at here so the all program this is the all program so this option is present at the bottom of the left panel in the start menu means which when we click it gives the list of program in the alphabetical order and followed by the list of folder which quickly accessible with a single click okay next is the search box look at here this is the search box so just below of all program option this search box will be provided the convenience to locate the file or folder or the program in the computer system so this search can be perform all the type of particular name contents or any words in its properties so mainly this search box is used to locate the files or program in the computer system then this is the personal folder so the personal folder so the personal folder named by the user which currently login in it means it contain the user specific location like their document their pictures their music games computer their control panel all this information can be stored in the specific location okay so these are whole their personal folders so the first is the document so this option is used to the document library of the current user that gives the access to any type of file saved by the user next is the pictures this folder is used for the pictures library when the windows keep our pictures and the graphical files next is the music this folder 
is used to keep the musics or the audio files in the music library and to access or play them quickly. Next is the game. This game folder it gives the access to all the games that are stored by the current user. Then the computer folder. Okay, this computer option that provide the access to all the storage location like hardware drive, CD drive, removable drive, etc. Next is the control panel. Okay, this control panel option provide the access to the various windows related to setting and to customize the working environment. Okay, for example, you can control all the setting, formal setting about date and time, Wi-Fi setting, etc. Next is device and printer. So this option can be used to view the information about the device like printer, mouse, etc. Means that device is working or not. This whole information, they can be written here. So the next is default program. So this option helps to choose the default program and to be opened on a specific activity. Okay. The last is help and support. This option helps to get the information about how to use the Windows features. Okay. So the next is Windows file management system. So, the Windows 7 begins an operating system provide efficient file management system to organize the data files in the computer system. So, the two important components of information management are first is file and second is folder. So, let us learn to work with these two types of component. So, let's see it files and folder so the first file file are the collection of related information stored with the unique name and the operating system always stored the data in the form of file for example we can comparing a file with the notebook of particular subject means the way we write the information of subject in its specific notebook and label it with some specific subject name for its recognizing the operating system stored the related information as the files with the user gives the name and to identify its content for example microsoft word wordpad paint these are the different types of files so the next is the folder. A folder can be considered as a cupboard or the drawer where we, we can keep the files means these are used to organize the files such that the related information can be accessed from the common location. Means the information cannot be directly stored in folder but it's stored as a file. So we can create the different folders for different categories of files and we can also subcategorize the files within a specific folders by creating the subfolder within a folder. For example, look at here the different types of folder. This is the folder, new folder and this is the document folder means one file can be inserted in a folder. And this is the program means the multiple subfolders inserted in one folder. Next is creating folder. So the folder can be created at any location in the storage device. So let us first learn to create the folder on the desktop. So let's practically demonstrate it how to creating a folder. First is creating folder. Okay. So let us learn how to create folder on the desktop. Okay. Firstly, look at here. This is whole blank area of the desktop. So right click in the blank area on the desktop. So look at here. 
the new option available here just click when we click on the new option at the top the folder option present here and his whole sub menus list okay when we click folder option automatically one folder will be appear on the desktop then just give a suitable name to the folder and press the enter key so in this way our folder will be created on the desktop next is opening folder means we can see the files or subfolder within the folder by opening in its new window so let's practically demonstrate it how to opening the folder means a created folder next is opening the folder means you can see the files or subfolder within the desktop okay so it has been three way to opening the folder so first is double click on the folder icon okay so this is our folder icon in this way our folder will be open okay second is right click on the folder icon and click the open option in this way the folder is open third is select the folder and press the enter key okay this is three way to opening our folder and when we opening our folder you can showing its content okay means like your files and subfolder in it okay so thank you student watching this video very carefully if you like my video so subscribe my channel and press the bell icon means my new uploaded video gives a notification to you thank you all dear student